auto calibration routines where it measures itself with a little sensor. But in the early days, you would build a Cartesian if you wanted your printer to print straight and square. You would build a Delta if you wanted something fun to tinker with. Uh, nowadays, it's not quite that way. The Deltas, uh, the software has gotten so good, they can auto calibrate. You can build great dimensionally accurate parts on the Delta. And uh, they have three identical drivetrains. So you get three of every part. You only have to design the drivetrain once and you have to do it three times around. So in a lot of ways, they're easier to design and build. But the calibration was just terrible in the early days. Because you're having to get like exact dimensions and figure out radii that are real hard to measure. Uh, and if you get it off by a millimeter, it won't print straight. So nowadays with the auto probing routine, like I've got it running here, just, uh, uh, it's not printing now, but just doing a little auto probe. It's automatically figuring out its own geometry. You give it rough numbers and it will fine tune them. Uh, every time it's probing, it's getting a lot more data to run through an algorithm. Um, and that's just transformed the way deltas are used. So uh, my, my partner at the table here, he's got a... He just makes some stunning prints on his delta here. Give this one a little spin. It's a fully functioning fly fishing reel. <laughs> Right? You can actually use that fish with really. it. Yes. So the, you print it in a little different materials, but it is a working, fully functional, being used in the field fly fishing. Yeah, he's got a few different garments. So that, uh, I think that's just some fancy PLA. So the gears will be nylon. There's um, somewhere in this box here, there's a carbon fiber called carbon. And he uses for the medium. This black one here, and make structural components in the production pieces. But for like show pieces, uh, you know, just whatever film that looks cool, 